This video is going to be a quick look at unzipping folders downloaded from the VLE. So once you've accessed the VLE, if we scroll down to section 3, practice task sheets, and the practice task sheets folders is the link to the individual folders that contain all the folders and files that you need for the file management practice papers that you've been given. If I go with the compost files zip, all I have to do is left click on compost files. Do please be aware I am using Internet Explorer 9. If you're using a previous version, it might look slightly different. Here I have the option to open, save or save as the downloaded file. It's best to go with save as because then you can choose where the folder will be saved to. As I've said in the past, it's best to make sure it's set to the desktop. If desktop isn't automatically selected, we can choose it either through favourite links or through navigating to the desktop. The file name will be set as compost files. We can leave that as it is and then click on save. And then again, because I'm using IE9, I should get a little toolbar or a dialog popping up here just to tell me that it's completed. I can close that with the cross and then minimize IE9 and here I have the zipped folder compost files and I know it's zipped because I can see the little zip on the folder icon. If I now right click on that folder to get the context specific menu and select extract all with a left click Again, it's best to leave this to the default extraction location, which is again on the desktop. It's in a second folder called Compost Files. And by default, a tick is inside the checkbox for Show Extracted Files when complete. And that allows you to check that it's all worked. So if I click on Extract, just running the process. is my compost files. Do please be aware the folder I'm currently looking at is this folder sitting on the desktop so it's compost files and then inside here I've got a second folder called compost files. Oh, remember that I can't double click on these videos. And then inside here is the actual files that we're going to be using. So what you might want to do once you've downloaded compost files is to simply drag and drop the folder onto the desktop. It's not necessary, but it does remove some confusion perhaps. So if I go with this one, compost files, and there's the contents of the folder that we're going to be using. So in this example it would be Clate Unit 1, you rename as your name, first and last name. So that's unzipping from the VLE, or downloading and unzipping from the VLE. Once you've completed work, what you can do is drag the folder to the trash can, or the rubbish bin, recycle bin. If you want to practice again, if you've left the zipped folder on the desktop, all we'd have to do is once again extract all, go through exactly the same process, and we'll get that same folder again. So you could work from it again. So that's extracting or um, downloading a zipped folder from the VLE and then extracting it. And like I say, it's best to leave these options to the default settings.